scale of Super 1 when you stumble upon it, a t about a 10 foot long section of shelving filled with blue packaging. It's unmistakable and easily recognized by anybody. It's the one and only Oreo section. Like any legend, even the Oreo has its humble beginning story that gave birth to a legacy. So just sit back, relax, and allow us to educate you on an iconic cookie that holds a small place in everybody's hearts. The history of Nabisco and the Oreo. Let's take a trip back in time, about 120 years to 1898. Nabisco was a small baking company created from many smaller independent companies coming together to operate under just one name. Little did they know that their small business would soon become a multi-billion dollar company in the future. About four years later in 1902, Nabisco released Barnum's Animal Crackers. Animal Crackers were Nabisco's first popular product and remain to be an iconic snack to this day. The cookies were made popular by two things. Sam Bateman, please report to the office. They're made popular by two things. One, their unique packaging of circus animals, as you can see, and the boxes were designed to be hung from Christmas trees as a decoration. Ten years later, in 1912, we arrive at the birth year of the Oreo. Bottom line, Nabisco needed a new product. But instead of making a brand new, totally unique cookie, they instead took inspiration from the already circulating high grade cookie and made their own. As you can see, the two cookies share a striking resemblance. It's almost impossible to tell them apart. However, the Oreo was more popular thanks to more successful advertising and the fact that it had the Nabisco stamp. By that time, Nabisco was already a popular company. The Oreo has gone through three design changes. The original in 1912 lasted until 1924. The first redesign in 1924 lasted until 1952. And the second redesign, which remains to this day. This second redesign has been around for 66 years, much longer than any of the previous designs lasted. The history of the Oreo, quite boring, is all right. But how it's made is the way better version. First, to start with the Oreo making, you take a 2,000 pound tub and fill it with the Oreo cookie mix. There are special ingredients. After it's put into a giant tub and mixed, it is put on to a conveyor belt where it is then shaped and sent through an oven. While the Oreos are being cooked, the cream is put into a 1,000 pound tub being mixed and put onto another conveyor belt which makes it into the circle shape and put onto the backside cookie. After it is put on, they sandwich, they take the cookies and they sandwich together to make the Oreo. Then they package it and send them out to our local grocery stores. And did you know that in Montreal, Canada, 3,000 cookies are made a minute? That's, That's a lot an hour. Moving on from the past and how it's made, let's see where the Oreo is today. Can anybody guess how many different flavors of Oreos are available? Well, as of today, November 14, 2018, there are 55 different flavors of Oreos. But instead of talking about all 55, how about we talk about just one type in particular? Allow me to introduce the Double Stuff Oreo. The Double Stuff, spelled with only one F, is the first variation of Oreo that was different, introduced in 1975 about 63 years after the original was introduced. Today, it is one of the most popular types of Oreos in the world. But did you know that your double stuff is not stuffed to double its original size? In fact, it should be called the 1.86 stuff Oreo. But don't feel ripped off, it still tastes exactly the same. Back in June of 2018, Oreo introduced two new flavors to the line. Allow us to introduce chocolate peanut butter pie, and pistachio thins, but don't go looking for the thins, they are only available in Canada. But welcome to the family otherwise. The company Nabisco itself makes a total of three billion dollars a year on Oreos alone, making it Nabisco's best-selling product and the most popular cookie in the world. As you can see, the total revenue is almost triple that of the second place value. So, next time you're strolling down the cookie aisle, and you're with friends or by yourself, and you choose Oreos, remember, they can satisfy any you need, need, and if you're on a diet, just remember, your health food may be good for the conscience, but Oreos taste a hell of a lot better.